over to the high school science room and see where the high school kids are. But let's take a hike, let's walk down this aisle. We're just gonna do this gradually, gradually. Hey, here's a couple of guys. Hey, gentlemen, how you doing? Good. Uh, you wanna say a little something on the air about your science project? Where is it? Take us to it, okay? Can you do that? David, are you going your way and he's going his way, or who's the closest? Okay, hi everybody, International Academy and the Science Fair at, inter at our school. We have a bunch of uh, uh, displays here, Must have every fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, or seventh, and we just got too many to count. But we're here uh, this morning, as you know, we have open enrollment. What's your name? Thing. I think it was one over by us. What's your name? You may recall, yeah. we had a uh, yeah, Flint yeah. yeah. Journal last yeah. week. We were selected as the top char uh, char uh, top school, not necessarily charter school in Genesee County. And uh, the way we arranged that, we didn't arrange it, we were selected through Bridge Magazine out of Lansing through some data that they processed through another organization. And uh, we were selected the top char top school in Genesee County based upon something called a VAM, Value Added Matrix, which includes, of course, test scores and a variety of other uh, factors that they put into their calculation. And because uh, we have a high number of folks here with uh, low income and one parent families and such, and we're not bragging about that, we're just a matter of that's a matter of fact. And we are actually doing better than uh, we are supposed to with those uh, at risk factors that you probably heard that term overused and overused, but that's basically what it is. So we were quite pleased with that uh, reward that we received, and uh, we want to continue to do the very best we can for Flint kids, and some county kids are with us here as well. So we're very pleased that we were selected and designated as uh, the top school in Genesee County. It was the top five, and I won't mention those, and I certainly won't mention the bottom five, but if you want to check M Live, you can find out those other schools as well. So here we are at the Science Fair. Where did David go? David, where are you? David, tell us about what kind of title is that? Here we go. Oh, mercy. What did you try to do here, buddy? Try to see which balloon blows up the largest. Based on what? The pop. Oh, we could use three kinds of pop. Name the pops. Coke, Sprite, and Red. Okay, and so your idea was to see with the with the uh, carbo, uh, uh, the carbonation in each of those drinks, you were going to find out which of those drinks was able to blow the balloon up quickest, and the result was. Verners. Verners. Verners out outdid uh, Sprite and Coca Cola. Well, that's an exciting. Uh, <laughs> You, sh you should call the Verners company and let them know that they have more gas and more carbonation in their drink than two of the greatest sellers in the world. So thank you very much, David. Good job. What did you learn from all this, partner? Um, that Verners is the strongest. Yeah, but other than that, you, you learned about uh, the uh, uh, hypotheses. You know what that is. And you went through the, the scientific procedure of trying to do the Did you research, documented it, did all those things. Is, that was correct as well, right? Okay, very good. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate that. Daniel, you got something for us here, buddy? Uh-huh. Where are we at? And Mr. Harry is right now on the TV camera, and he's uh, doing the best he can with not so very good lighting. We're walking over to Daniel's project. Hi, Davina. How are you? I was so thrilled. Okay, oh, here's an exciting one, and Daniel, tell us about this rascal. Okay, we went to... I did this in our class. Who liked which ice cream the best? Turns out it was vanilla, and I thought it was chocolate because it was my favorite. Okay. Because everybody claims that they love chocolate, and when they had tasted it, they like they liked vanilla the best. Okay. And how many kids did you test then? Do you remember that exact number? Twenty-six. Okay, twenty-six of them, and let's take a look at the conclusion. Tell us the results uh, right over here. Tell us this result. The boys for vanilla had four. Girls had five for vanilla. The total was nine. For chocolate, the boys had five. The girls had three. And the total was eight. For strawberry, the boys had two. The girls had five. And the total was seven. And how that came, vanilla came in first. And the, vin the winner is vanilla. Chocolate is second. And strawberry is third. <laughs> okay, and, and I was told by the class that they would like to have this experiment every single day of the week. Is that right? 
Uh, everybody's nodding yes. except uh, somebody who bought the ice cream, right, Grandpa? <laughs> right. We got some lights here now. We're, we're, in, we're in the business. Hollywood right here, right now. We got some lights. Uh, not that the gym That's didn't great. have, but it's so uh, the big. The gym is so big. We brought in some spotlights to make it a little bit easier for you folks to, to see on TV what uh, you know, what these uh, projects are. Well, uh, here we have a, a grandma here. Is that all right to come on in? And yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me haul you in here. I know you're embarrassed, <laughs> but that's okay. Tell us, uh, what, okay. what do you think of this event? I think it's great. It's really, really nice. All the different ideas, all the different thoughts the children have, and they really put work into it. Okay. And my two grandchildren, you know, one of them had to do it on a, um, what you call it, a college crush, where you stay up all night to oh. finish it. <laughs> And little Daniel there, he was up all night until he finished his. Okay. But David had a little head start. Okay. Now you but don't really mean all night, all night. Two o'clock. Oh For my, him, that's, that's all night. night. That's that's <laughs> yes, yes. Well, okay. well, well, Grams, thank you. Yes, it's uh, beautiful. How's everything else? We're doing a good job here? Yes, you are. I love, I love the International Academy of Flint. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs> thank you very much. We appreciate it. Hi, Davina. You want to show everybody your missing tooth? Say something about your missing tooth. I picked it out. She pulled it herself and whipped it in salt water. It put it, okay. <laughs> to me, to you something special. And you got a dollar from the tooth fairy. Oh, you got a, you got a dollar from the tooth fairy? A dollar? Seriously. Wow, what what you gonna do with that dollar? <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're going to teeth. I lose another tooth. So, Art, Art, how much was the tooth fairy given when you were a kid? Oh, uh, twenty nine ninety five. Tooth fairy had debit cards. No cash. We got a regional director of the United States of America here. Come on over, Science Fair Lady. How are you doing today? Okay, I'm very fine. good. You're on uh, Comcast Channel Seven. That's Paul yes. Harry. Hello, Ralph. And we're going to give you the phone. This is the microphone. And he has a mic on the camera as well. Okay. So uh, you're with the regional office of the science fair here or something to that effect. Flint, I just met you Flint just regional a few minutes science fair. ago. So why don't you tell people what they, you would like them to know about this event and other events. And look in the camera. Hi, good morning. I'm Linda Vinsel. I'm the secretary of the Flint Regional Science and Engineering Fair. Um, we are in our 56th year. And we would like to have all the students in the Flint area come join us in March to compete. In the senior division, the students can go on to the International Science and Engineering Fair. This year it will be held in Los Angeles, California. Wow, yeah. In the junior division, students can compete for the Broadcom Masters, of which some students go to Washington, D.C. to compete along with one of their parents. But mostly, the Flint Science Fair believes that all students are winners. And so every student that comes to our fair receives a prize, a ribbon. All students come on stage with us on Sunday to be awarded. And there are about 150 very special awards that go out to students, so all students are capable of winning those. Um, I'm looking at some very nice projects here at the International Academy, and this is um, a, a great project for them to be working on. And it looks like they're setting up a new board here for me to um, look at. And it's, um, what? We have a willing mother that wants to go we on. We have a willing mother that wants to <laughs> They're hard to find. <laughs> no, it's true. Um, and, and while we're talking about willing mothers, that's how I got started when my child competed Excellent. Um, as a fourth grader. So I've been doing this many, many years. So congratulations to all the students here who have done a project. They've done great jobs, and we're looking them over. Good luck to everybody. Okay. Huh. Well, Miss Vinsel, thank you. Just a you're pleasure welcome. to meet you today. I'm sorry we didn't get much chance That's okay. to chat, but you're busy, and I might be at the moment busy too. Come here, big guy. We're going to talk, and we got a guy. Big guy's mom's got to get in here. 
Hi, Mom. And bring Peanut in, too. Okay. Come on, Peanut. <laughs> Here, we're going to put you right in the middle. We'll have him. Wait, no, why don't you get on the other side? Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Now that's the camera. They have their own mic, and then this is the radio mic right here. This is live, and that's going to be showing Monday evening, okay. 7:30. Okay. Now tell us uh, what you've done here. So let's step aside a little bit so we can get the uh... Mr. Bush. Where are you with the lighting? We got it. We're good. We're good. That's enough good. lighting. Yeah. That's good. good. Okay. All right. Tell us your name and your project, and then introduce your mother, and maybe she can talk a little bit about our school. Me too. And then you can introduce me not too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hold. You can hold it. It's a regular cell phone. And then look in the camera, because this is live TV. Okay. My name is Ayikwe, and uh, I'm in What grade? My grade is four. four. I don't know. You know I don't. I'm just holding up four fingers, guessing. Okay. And tell us about your project now. Well, I Okay, and you you were trying to grow seeds, is that right? Does the seed grow in sand, salt, or water? Ooh, that's it. What did you find out? This was the hype, the purpose. Does the seed go ahead, repeat it? Well, does a seed grow in sand or soil or water the fastest? And the result is water. this water? Okay. <laughs> All right. How long? How long did it take you to do that? Like a couple of days, or a week, or how long? Um, a week, probably. Probably about a week to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Let's pass the phone. On. Now we'll pass the phone on to mom. Mom, come on in. Mom, embarrass you. I'm so sorry about this. But I love to embarrass okay. people. <laughs> uh, tell us about you know what you thought about the project. And maybe some comments about the school, if that would be okay. Absolutely. Right. Well, when we first did the project. Um, Ayikwe's hypothesis was that the seed was going to grow fastest. And believe it or not, I did not believe him because I'm used to seeds growing in the soil. So yeah. I just knew it was going to grow first in the soil. But actually, Ayikwe was right. His hypothesis was that the seed would grow fastest in the soil, I mean, in the water. Um, it took us about 27 days. I made him do the whole thing by itself. Thank <laughs> so you. Um, we, yeah. we, we love the fact that um, International is starting off science fairs in the fourth grade. You know, that's very unusual. Um, that I've heard of, so I'm very happy for that. I love the fact that um, International is very academically centered. Um, that was one of the reasons why we enrolled him and his little sister <laughs> in the International as well, because we wanted him to be college bound and just to start the process. How long have you been with us? Actually, since Ayikwe was in kindergarten. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So he's now in the fourth grade, okay. and then his sister came into kindergarten, and now she's okay. in the first. Okay, well, let's get her on the, on the television oh, yeah. and the radio. <laughs> Honey, come on over. And let's, uh, who is your teacher? Are we got her, Paul? Yeah. Who's your teacher, kindergarten teacher? Uh, oh, you're in first, excuse me. <laughs> she, I'm in first grade, she whispered. Okay, who is your first grade teacher? Miss Banks. Oh, yes, we know Miss Banks very well. Okay, and uh, what are you doing in first grade? What's the best thing you got going there? Reading, math, Spanish, what do you got? <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, thank okay, you very thank much. You. We okay. love it. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Wow. I like that. Okay, You're, and it'll be on some Monday evening at 7 30. Sounds good. Thank you so much. No problem. problem. Wow, we thank got a great you. commercial lady oh, yeah. here. That's super. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's go back to uh, the International Academy. You know we're here in the gym, of course. We've had a couple of parents talk with us and a grandparent. And uh, they're very supportive of what we do. We would we have some success here, as you well know. We've been um, designated state and national awards and such. But the key to this, of course, is naturally instruction. But without parent support the way it is, it just wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen without the parent support that we're getting from from, you know, almost every one of our parents comes here uh, sometime during the week, either pick up the child or visit with the teacher. It's that bond that is developed that is so successful. All right, I'm going to see if we can't call over. Paul, I'm going yeah, to leave the camera, no, Paul, so just do you. anything you want to do. Miss Stoddard over here. Miss Stoddard, if you're available, we'd, we'd like we Miss Stoddard's talking with her. Oh, we'll go white with her. Mr. Bush? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We don't need the... Okay. 
I've I, I got okay. it adjusted in the camera. Okay, thank you, Paul. Paul, you're so good. We needed the lights. Thank you. Want to be on television or radio? I don't like either. I don't Yeah, but I got it. <laughs> Miss Stoddard is uh, Victoria Stoddard, our science teacher in the high school and does a lot of other things. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been here, what you teach, including AP stuff naturally as well. Mention okay. that to parents because I've talked about that a little bit over time. And then what's going on here in terms of what you view as the science projects? Hi, um, I am Vicki Stoddard. I have been teaching here for I think nine years now. And uh, currently I teach uh, math, physics, and AP biology. And AP stands for? Advanced placement. Okay. And it's a basically a college level course taken as a senior in high school. And the students, um, they learn a little bit more about how like a college class would be presented. No, go ahead. Whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. How many kids are participating, for example, would you know today? For AP Biology? Oh, oh no. I'm, I missed that. I was oh, talking to another staff fair? member. Yeah. Um, I believe that for our science fair for ninth grade, we have nine students. For 10th grade, we have about 18. 11th grade, I'd say we have about 10. And for 12th grade, I think we have six. Okay. And it's, it's required at, at the lower levels, isn't it? Let's it's required at our level, too. Okay. okay. It's also required for a grade, for a periodic grade. We um, are also, this year, we actually got a grant through the Flint Regional Science Fair for $1,000 for our uh, senior division, which is the high school division, and we need to take at least five students to the senior division, and I think we have 11 going for sure. Well, that's great. Very Yay. good. Thank you. One of our board members asked me that just the other day. I didn't have an answer. Thank you. Now I do appreciate that. You want to give this up, don't you? Thank you. <laughs> You're just so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Manny, come on in, girl. This is our fifth grade teacher. Fourth, fourth grade. Fourth grade. Mm -hmm. I've been only missed by one. That's pretty That's okay. good for me. Close okay. enough. It's close enough in horseshoes. Tell them what's happening here and how many kids you got involved and anything that's on your mind. Plus, you're judging. Tell them about your judging right oh, now. There you go. That's so enthusiastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh and eighth grade uh, participating in our middle school fair. We have uh, over 200 students and boards that um, participated in the projects. And uh, we have all staff members, well, science and other staff members that have come in to help judge. And we are judging on basically that they have completed and included all the materials, you know, the six basic uh, components of the science fair project. And uh, we're filling out the ballots and then we're going to tally up the ballots uh, and present the winners. How many judges do we have? Oh, uh, I think we had about 12. Oh, my. 12 judges, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, including the uh, Kettering University helpers here today right. that are judging as well. And uh, we will present the awards on February 28th at our uh, accelerated reading uh, AR assembly. AR assembly. assembly. Mm -hmm. okay, yep, right. and we're going to give out medals and uh, participation. Oh, uh, Hard word when yes, you're on the it radio, is. isn't it? It is the hard word. <laughs> uh, participation <laughs> certificates for those that were kind of like honorable mention. Okay. They did well, but not. And how long you've been with us? Oh, I've been here for, uh, this is my seventh year. Okay. And yes. every year it gets better, doesn't it? Every year it gets better. <laughs> this is actually my fifth year doing the science fair, though, because okay. I did uh, English and social studies one year, a okay. couple years, so. Very good. Well, thank you. Any other closing remarks here? No, uh, okay. we had a great turnout this year. Yeah, we and do. it's we do. it's exciting to actually have the Flint area uh, science fair people coming in and uh, participating this year in hopes for next year it'll just get bigger and bigger and more students can you know go uh, statewide and even nationally. Okay. So. Are, are, are the regional people judging or are they just here to observe? They're judging and observing to see what work, okay. what kind of talent we have and basically our, our requirements are they the same and what we need to do to spruce them up for um, future fairs. Okay, very good. Well, wow. Mandy, thank you. Very excellent. I knew you were a little shy, but you sure <laughs> didn't sound like it. All right. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thanks, okay, you good job. Okay, very good. Wow, had a little fun there with her. She's very verbal and uh, just does a great job in the classroom. Oh, go to her, go away. <laughs> we're very proud of her, of course. And she's, uh, the kids in the classroom are bigger than she is, and that's a fact, folks. So she's just a little peewee. But oh, you never seen dynamite in, small, in large packages, have you, Paul? <laughs> she was very, very good. I wonder if we could get one of our. Oh, yo!
Joshua, jo you're, you're one of the judges, right? Can you, you got time to come over for the TV radio thing? No, she's been on already. Yeah. We, a little gap in time. Is I, John, was it Joshua? Jordan. Jordan was close. It's all good. Everything's good. <laughs> okay. Jordan, tell, this is live radio. That's TV cameras. So okay. tell folks. Uh, who you are, why you're here succinctly so we can get a little, you know, you're representing an outside organization. So talk a little bit about the relationship, sir. Um, I'm Jordan Crow with the Flint Regional Science and Engineering Fair. And what we're doing here today at Flint International, International Academy of Flint is we're just working through and going through the projects. Camera, stay there. Oh, yeah. we're going through the projects and working with the teachers and the students and seeing what's really, really good. There's some really good projects here today. And so what we can do to that way keep the momentum going for future years and keep mm -hmm. the students interested about science mm -hmm. and just that way they can keep building on their projects mm -hmm. and keep learning and then hopefully and it also gives back to the community too mm -hmm. as a lot of our the sponsors for the Flint Science Fair our regional fair mm -hmm. they work with us and we want to work and get out on kind of like a grassroots level to talk to all the students mm -hmm. and the teachers and work with them. Jordan let, let me grab this for a moment don't go away. Now, Jordan our kids are all fired up about this now but how do we sustain this throughout the year do you have any suggestions for us instructionally or as a school as to how we might continue Maybe we'd start a science club or what? any thoughts like that. Why don't you shoot that to our Definitely. audience here? And the science club is a great idea. And the way I always approach projects is I just view the science project as one idea that you put to paper and one exploration because there's so many little things you can do. And the best projects always come about, I always found from my experience when I did projects back in the day, was just reading in the paper and going, that's a problem. Is there a solution we can find? Okay. It's just a process okay. from thinking and just exploring and always anticipating stuff. And the Science Club is a great idea. And there's some great activities here in the Flint area. The Children's Museum, the Kettering Camps and everything. And that's sure. one thing that our fair, if we're sponsored through them, yeah. that we actually send students to those. Yeah, we'll have some there this year, I'm sure. Yes, yes we sir. Will. I learned that just a little few minutes yeah. ago. Okay. And there'll be some students from here. And then we plan, usually we have at least 250 students from the area in there. So there'll be students from Shiawassee County, okay. Tuscola. That's the region. That's that the regional fair. Okay, very good. Okay, well, th thank you. Appreciate it. Nice yeah, meeting you thank today. You very, much. very good. And please stay in touch with us. I, uh, we appreciate your we'll input here. And uh, do you have any interest in leading the science club? Oh. Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way. <laughs> okay, right. okay. Well, let's, uh, uh, let's see if we got. Matt, are you available? Matt! I'll get somebody. Matt, are you available? Yes, sir. Okay, I, excuse the, the loud ho hollering, folks. I guess you turn your radio down. I'm sorry about that. We've got one of our judges and one of our uh, teachers here as well. Matt, we've talked a little bit about everything. You're kind of you're in the upper element, yes. the uh, seventh, eighth grade group yes. and such. I don't think we've had anybody talk about what's going on there. This sure. is the camera, and this is live radio. So okay. there you go. Look in the camera. Um, we've uh, had an excellent turnout. Uh, who are you? The, who are you? Oh, Tell them who you yes, are, sir. How long have you been here, Matt? Yes, Mr. Shaw, 7th and 8th grade science teacher. Okay. I've been here at IEF now for uh, six years. Okay. And um, I'm overall very, very impressed by uh, what our students have put together. Um, we have a lot of creative uh, projects. One uh, young man did a project uh, on different light bulbs. Uh, he had them hooked up to thermometers so you could see uh, really? how much temperature was generated after a minute to show the different amounts yeah. of energy. Um, we had a young girl that did a project uh, that demonstrated capillary action uh, using paper towels to draw the water up from one basin to capillaries another. Capillaries, and as, as runs throughout our body, that's what I'm okay. Well, yeah, capillaries like uh, a candle uses uh, capillary action to oh, draw up, the wax. Pop, excuse me, up, got it now. Got it. Okay. So, um, yeah, very, very impressed with the level okay. of uh, scientific inquiry that was okay. demonstrated. So, okay. Yes. I, I think we'll probably have to close off here shortly. Matt, thank you. I appreciate it. Sure. Good seeing you. Yes. Thanks for giving us your Saturday, You're partner. Welcome. Appreciate you very much. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Well, we're probably rounding out. Uh, Brenda, I need a little help on time, so if you can give me an idea. How much we got, Brenda? 
three minutes, okay, all right. Well then, I can I could sing an aria here if that'd be all right. The following don't, song will don't. be brought to you by <laughs> Paul is saying, don't do that, Buckethead. Yeah, there are laws, there are laws. <laughs> Boy, is he right. Okay. Well, folks, we're, um, Paul, you know what? Could you come with me for a minute? I can't. Okay, with the camera, of course. Sure, oh, okay, you want me to bring the camera? I'd like that. We're gonna concentrate on this one. Paul, get a shot of that, would you? That's our cream of the crop that was in the Flint Journal here last week. We just want to make sure folks know about our award. I told our board that we would talk about that for a few weeks because they're very proud of it, of course. And as are our staff, our kids, you know, it's just something that we're, we're just proud of. We're going to continue. Just because we got this award, by no means is that means we're going to, as they say, resting on our laurels. We've got to keep getting better and better and better and better. And the better we, the better we get, uh, the more kids we'll put in college. And we start that, as you know, kindergarten right through grade 12 here. Okay, it's about time to, to go, I'm guessing. Is that about right, Paul? Yeah, Brenda two said minutes. Three, two minutes to go. Okay, all right, two minutes to go. And uh, Mr. Bush, why don't you come on over? You want to come on over, Mr. Bush? Not at this time, Doc. Yeah, let, let me see that you've got a nice string tie here on your sweatshirt. <laughs> Mr. Bush, say hi to the peoples. Hello, peoples. <laughs> how are you today, sir? Okay. We appreciate all you do here, Mr. Bush. Right. What did you Glad do yesterday? Do what, what did I do, do yesterday? yesterday? Uh, pop popcorn for the teachers who was right? here uh, for the Valentine's Day? Well, yes. we had professional development day and they oh, were starving day. and hungry and you provided yes, them with the necessary yes. nutrition so they could continue throughout the day. <laughs> Thank you, you one funny guy. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Boy. <laughs> Okay, well, folks, we're probably going to close off. Do please do remember our number here, 600, 5,000, 600, 5,000. Come on, call me. I want to give you a tour of the building. We do this every week. We'd love to have you come on by. And it's about time to go. And we'd like to thank WFLT for their courtesy in allowing us the privilege of sharing with you our science fair right from the lower school gym at International Academy of Flint. Our thanks as well to Paul Herring and uh, Spectacle Productions. And it's time to go. It's time to go. Bush, David, come on. We're going to do a here. Okay. Okay. All right, where are you folks are walking a dog, looking at a blog, or sitting around just in the fog? Look at somebody and say, Woo-wee! That is some kind of school. Bye, everybody. Juneteenth, a time to reflect and rejoice. Join the village. Celebrate African American Independence Day.